Welcome to Girded with Truth. Today we're reading from Psalm chapter 1, verses 1 to 3. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. So why am I reading Psalm chapter 1 verses 1 to 3? The purpose for that is because we are talking about a new season. We have learned that you will bring forth fruit in your season. And as we enter into a new season, there are certain things that are noteworthy as we move from where we are into our new season of life. And the Bible talks about how a blessed man or the way of a righteous man will prosper. And it starts off by saying, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. So if you are a person of God, a person who pursues God, a person who walks in purpose, then someone who is ungodly cannot really counsel you or lead you into the ways of God because the fact is that they will see the things differently. If you enter into business, the ungodly man might think about the faster, easier, better way to make more money. But if you are a man of God, you are thinking, I just want to accomplish God's purpose. So there is the aspect of making more money versus accomplishing God's purpose. So therefore, someone who's ungodly will not be able to really direct you in the path of God. And then it goes on to say, not to stand in the way of sinners and this means not to behave as sinners do not to do things the way sinners do them not to really follow sinners it doesn't mean that you don't speak to them or you don't connect with them or try to understand them or even try to deliver the word of god to them it just means that you behave as you ought to you behave in a proper manner in the way god has called you forth to behave and then the last part of verse one says don't sit in the seat of the scornful and this really refers to you know sometimes when people see vagrants or poor people or anything like that they might be scornful at them but here it is saying don't sit in the seat of the scornful and it really means to mock or to detest or to laugh at someone because of their position in life and we could have been there if it had not been for the grace of god upon our lives so we ought not to cast any stones we ought not to scorn people or to sit in the seat of the scornful and verse 2 says listen after you have followed this after you have observed these three things you will be blessed even more because why you delight in god you meditate on his word day and night so you have been joyfully following god pursuing god rejoicing in things of god you have been meditating on his word day and meditating on his word night and he's saying now is your time now is your season it's a new season for you you are about to step into if you have not already stepped into your new season and verse 3 ends by saying you will be like a tree planted by the rivers of water so i have learned that when you are a tree and you are planted near a stream or a body of water you tend to be more full you bloom more you really um spread more you look richer than those existing in the side way or the byway or in fields 
because you are consistently watered. You are consistently cared for. You are consistently being nurtured. But when you are not by a stream, you have to wait for rain to come or somebody to come and water you. So here God is saying, you will be like that tree. So you just continue growing and expanding and flourishing and, you know, being groomed by the rivers of water. And then it says that, don't worry, you just stay there, get your water, continue to do whatever you're doing. And in due time, you will enter into your season. You will bring forth the fruit God has ordained for you to bring forth. So as we enter into this new season, it is your season. It is your season of breakthrough. It is your season of fruitfulness. It is your season of flourishing. It is your season for abundance. God has brought you into this place where he's ready to place you into a new season. He has already started to move you into this new season of life. And all you have to do is continue to delight in him, continue to meditate in his word. And he says, you know what? You wouldn't just flourish, you wouldn't just bring forth fruits in your season, but nothing connected to you will wither, nothing connected to you will die, nothing connected to you will dry up, nothing that is connected to you will fail. Everything that you put your hands to do, it shall prosper. So today, I decree and declare a prosperous life over you. I decree and declare that you are walking in abundance, that it is your season. Say it is my season because I am saying it is my season because God has declared that over my life and he has declared it over your life as well. So I pray that you walk into a new season. I pray that you leave everything that is ungodly behind you and you press towards what God is calling you to as he walks you into this new season of fruitfulness, this new season of flourishing, this new season of abundance. Do not miss this new season because God is already shifting you into the place that he wants you to be. So walk with me, continue with me as we press into God and as we enter into this new season of life. I thank you so much for continuing this journey with me as we pursue purpose and as we unapologetically follow God to wherever he takes us. Because wherever he takes us is always better than where we will take ourselves. Thank you so much for listening. Have a wonderful afternoon. Bye.